The movie starts in a prison. There we see some prisoners trying to escape. For this, they were breaking the floor there. There was a tunnel under it and they go inside it. From here the story of the movie shifts to the past, here we are shown a middle-aged prisoner. His name was Perry. He has life imprisonment and he will stay in jail forever. He was very sad about this. Perry always writes letters to his daughter, but they always get returned to him as they were never delivered to her. It shows that he didn't forget her but he loves her a lot. There we see his new cellmate arriving there whose name is Lacey. Then Perry receives a letter in which it is described that his daughter's condition is worse due to an overdose of drugs. Perry becomes sad and he thinks that now at any cost he has to go to his daughter. But, they will not allow him to go out. Perry starts thinking about the way to escape from the prison. Perry sees that at the place where he dries his clothes there were some holes to the other side. There he also notices a pipe connected to the sewer. Perry plans to escape from that place. But he cannot do this task alone. So he talks to his companion Brody about it. But he says it is a difficult task. If we are caught, our conditions will be made worse. The punishment after life imprisonment will be a death sentence. But then he tells Perry about one more man who is a big thief and famously known as bad guy, whose name is Lenny. He also does boxing. Now we see Brody disclosing to him all the ways to escape as he knows the blueprint of the jail. After understanding everything Perry goes to meet Lenny. Meanwhile, Brody also arrives there. Now they form a team and the three decide to escape from the jail. They start planning how they have to go out and from which path? Perry tells them that the place where he dries his clothes there is a place that is connected to the drain outside. But it is difficult to go across it. One person alone can't do this. If they all do this task then the guards will not spare them. Then Perry says you must know the church of this jail. There is a confession room, its path is straight to the laundry room. If we go through the laundry room, nobody will be suspicious about us. Then Lenny asks does the guards of the church do not see us? Lenny says we can't go to the church in front of the guards like that. That's why we need its key and it's impossible for us to get it. Perry replies I have its print. We can make a key same like that. Then they all appreciate Perry. Still, there is a problem. The place behind the dryer was made of steel and it was difficult to break or cut it. Then Lenny says I can make an iron rod as I have some iron. But for its proper molding, I need a diamond and it will help us. The other two question, from where you will have the diamond? Lenny replies there is a dreadful fighter in the jail who has a diamond in his teeth. Whenever he fights with someone the other prisoners bet on him. Okay, now we don't need money we need a diamond. For it, obviously, I have to fight with that fighter and I am also not afraid of anyone. What's wrong with fighting, we can get that diamond. But in reality, he was a dangerous fighter. He always defeats everyone. Now we see the fight starting between Lenny and the fighter. That fighter beats Lenny brutally as a result he falls down. But Lenny also doesn't lose his courage. He somehow breaks the tooth of the fighter in which the diamond was present. So he gets the benefit of his wounds. Then Lenny fits the diamond on that rod. He says now it will be easy for us to cut the steel. Now they decide that after cutting the steel they will finally reach the drain from where this place will open. They have to move through tunnels that will take them to the stream outside. But this path looks not so easy. Because if anyone hears a small voice, they will be finished. Then they come to know that they don't have to swim in the stream but there will also be tunnels that take them outside. Reaching outside, they will see railway lines. From there, they can run easily. But the issue is they have to reach there before 5 o'clock. Because after 5 they leave high voltage on them as they know prisoners may come there to escape. But there a problem arises, a prisoner named Tony hears them when they were talking. He blackmails Perry and asks, I need drugs from you. Otherwise, I will tell your plan to everyone. And you can't escape from here. Perry has to obey Tony. In the jail, we also see a big gangster named Ritza and everyone was scared of him. Tony is the brother of Ritza. Perry goes to a person named Batista, who is also a chemist, he has made many things in his life. He even made drugs in jail. 
Perry asks him secretly can you make half a kg of drugs for me? I have to give it to an insane person. Then Batista questions, why should I make it for you? Perry replies, in return, I will take you out of the jail with me. In fact, we are planning something and you will get the benefit. Batista agrees with him happily. Later, Tony comes to Perry to get drugs, Perry gives him drugs, and says to shut his mouth as his task is finished. But Tony who is a drug addict often teases and tortures Lacey very wildly. Here Lacey gets the chance to take his revenge on him. He beats him and tries to kill him with a pillow. He hits him with chairs and rods making him injured. Tony falls down from the stairs while he was coming out of the cell and dies there itself. Then the elder brother of Tony, Ritza comes to Perry and says, my brother came to you last time. What happened to him? Perry doesn't tell him anything and Ritza says I know your cellmate killed my brother. It will be better for you to come and meet me tonight along with him. Otherwise, I will make your condition worse. Here, Perry becomes worried because this night they have to escape from the jail. And if he doesn't take his cellmate to Ritza it also becomes bad for him. But before the night itself, a lady comes to meet Perry and tells him with a heavy heart that his daughter is no more in this world. This news completely breaks Perry. We also know that Perry was escaping from jail just for his daughter. But now his plans and dreams get ruined. He becomes very dejected about his life as he couldn't do anything for his daughter. Later, he goes to Lacey and tells him Ritza is calling you. But don't go there. Then he gives his daughter's picture to Lacey. And says him to give it to Brody with whom he was going to escape so that he will understand everything. Here we can comprehend, the purpose of Perry to escape from jail was lost. So he wanted to release his cellmate in his place. He did not send him to Ritza, because Ritza can do anything with him. He blackmailed Perry that he will kill his daughter, who is already dead. Now Lacey joins other companions of Perry and they reach the church. But when Perry's companions see his cellmate there, they question what are you doing here? They think that he will reveal their secret. But he tells them that Perry has sent him. They come to the laundry room through that room. Meanwhile, Perry also comes there because he wasn't feeling good in jail. His companions were going from there so Perry also wants to leave that place. Now they all join together. Their next step was to cut the metal sheet to which holes were made. After cutting it, they reach into tunnels. But they see that there is water in front of them which is very deep, even then they jump inside it. Now they all were in the water. Meanwhile, they see a door there and after opening it, they reach the underground tunnels. Their half task was done here. But when they move forward they see that there is a wall in their front and the path was closed. And they couldn't move further. They become hopeless and they were thinking about what should be done now. Then Lacey says our hard work is wasted. One of the men becomes furious and asks, what kind of hard work is yours? You have come in the last second. He hits him a punch but it hits on the wall instead of him. And space was made in the wall. They come to know that this wall is made out of mud which can be easily broken. They begin to scratch the wall with the iron rod and soon they make a huge hole in it. Now they move forward. But a lot of soil falls on Brody. Due to it, his breathing becomes difficult. Then Batista lifts him on his shoulders and moves forward. But soon he dies and they move forward while leaving him there. Now they only have one hour to reach there. Because after five there will be high voltage. While walking they realize that someone is chasing them. They jump in the water and by swimming they reach its other end. From there they walk on the railway tracks. While they were walking Batista's foot gets stuck in the railway track. Then Lenny starts helping him. But it was too late as a train was coming from behind and they don't have any time to run. The train crushes both of them. Now only Perry and his cellmate were left. He was of the age of his daughter. By running they reached the station and they both were very happy. Perry and his cellmate depart very joyfully in different directions. While Perry was going upside through the accelerator, he feels as if someone has stabbed him from behind. When he sees behind, we notice that he is in Ritz's cell. Actually, Ritza stabs him. The story and the scenes we were seeing are not real. These were Perry's imaginations which he thinks he himself. It is obvious that it was his dream to come out of this jail. But now Ritza has stabbed him. 
The deaths of the prisoners that we have seen is also a lie. They all escaped from there and maybe they have reached that station. Perry was inside the jail and he hadn't joined them ever. Because in the last scene of the movie we are shown those four are still alive when they move into the